Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this snowflake super duo beads bracelet. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Like here I have matching earrings tutorial that uh, you could see at the eye icon and link down there in description as well so you will be able to make beautiful sets but now guys let's get started with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are three colors of super dual beads silver blue and white and i'm using matching colors of seed beads 11 ounce seed beads you could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want and here is a clasp and a jump ring you could use toggle clasp if you want it's up to you here i'm using monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and by the way you could see all the materials that i'm using if you check their description and uh, you will find there a facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me link for paypal donations link to my second channel and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel okay let's continue this is size 10 beading needle scissors and the pliers are not obligatory only if you need to go through the difficult beads and squeeze your thread to go through size 10 beading needle you will use them okay so now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm starting my bracelet by picking up two white super dual beads one blue two white super dues one blue and I want to repeat this six times. Okay, guys, and now I have this on my needle. I have 12 white super dues divided by six blue super dues combined. The white super dues are combined two by two. Okay, so if you want, pause this video, pick this up and we will continue. Okay, so I'm sliding all of those down. I'm sticking my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I make it by make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made. And pull really gently. And then what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And before I pull, I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and then pull. Okay, not to make a loop over some of the neighbor beads. Okay, so this is what I have. Now I will go through these two white super dual beads and as i'm exiting here i will go through the empty hole of this same super dual and in this way i'm zigzagging and changing directions but don't worry about this it's okay now i take two super dues i go here in the next empty hole of the neighbor super dual like this then i take one silver and go again in the neighbor super dual in its empty hole then again two blue super dues This is what I have and one silver super dual. And I will continue this until the end of this row.
Okay, and now this is what I have. Don't worry if it bends a little bit at this stage, we'll fix it. Well, now this row will be a little bit tricky. I go through these two blue beads through their inner holes, then I go in this direction through one of them and I want to add two white beads and I go here. But I will make here guys an additional step because I want to add here silver beads next to the whites and how I do this it's really easy just zigzag through the beads first through the blue beads here then again through the blue and through the white like this then through the empty hole of this white bit in this direction and take three silvers to add here this was the difficult part from this row just make some repositioning and add this one okay then through the blue one through the bottom hole or the inner hole of the white through the blue and here take just one white and go through the silver. This is an easy part, then another white and go through the blue. This was the easy part and now again the tricky part. Two white beads, go here through the blue. Okay, then backwards through the same blue beads, then again because my goal is to exit out of this white but from its inner hole that is next to the blue and then again through here and add three silver beads okay adding three silvers like this then again through the whites and exit out of the blue take just one white bead and go through the silver then one more white and go again through the blue and i'm going to show you one more time the tricky part i add here two white beads go through the blue like this and then make repositioning how i make it i go backwards through these two blue beads then again through one of the blue beads changing directions and through both the white beads so these are two movements and with my third movement i add these three beads that i want to add at the edge and with my fourth movement I go here at the blue. Well, sometimes you could do it in five movements, sometimes in four. It depends. Okay. And here is the easy part. And then I will continue this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind this uh, part and repeat it from here. It's all the same and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row. 
and what I want to do is add one more row which is really easy and really pleasant as I'm exiting from this seed bit I want to add three seed beads three of them and go through the next then continue until you reach the next seed bead add three here okay like this then go to the next white seed bead again add three and continue this until the end and the central element of your bracelet will be ready and now my thread is almost over and I'm ready with my element that is why I want to make a knot and cut my thread and I make it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made then I make sure that my thread is between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead and I want to cut my thread and now guys for the other part of my bracelet I need to add more beads that is why I'm going to add a new thread to my work and I'll show you how and again I'm taking a new thread on my needle about half an arm span and what I want to do is add it here to my project okay I'm going through this white bead like this pulling leaving a small tail that I hold with my thumb and now I will do the same thing that I showed you before I will make a loop here and I will go twice through it I'm fixing my thread to go between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull then what I want to do is exit here at this bit that's sticking out the most or the angle bit you could call it now I will cut this tail thread here and I'm going to start <coughs> the other part of my bracelet how I started I take a blue bit slide it down like this then I go through its other hole so I'm zigzagging through this bead here and I want to take a white bead and I'm sliding it down and turning it in this direction then I want to take a blue bead slide it down and turn it in the opposite direction go through its empty hole and through the white bead here through white seed bead and then go through the blue bead okay this is how i start then i go through the blue and through the white like this through its uh, filled with thread hole and then through its empty hole okay then I take one blue bead slide it down turn it in this direction okay like this then I go through its empty hole now take a white bead and a blue bead slide those down okay turn the white bead in this direction and the blue bead in the other direction go through those three beads blue white blue and pull 
then again go through the blue white blue like this sorry only through the blue and the white okay like this not going through this hole of the blue only through the hole of the white and then go like this take a blue slide it down go through its empty hole zigzagging through it and take a white and a blue slide those down turn the white to stick out and the blue in this direction and then go through these beads in this direction you could go through all of three of them now I went through two and then through the third one it's up to you then I go back like this only through the white hole you see not going through the last hole of the blue bead and then zigzag take blue slide down zigzag white and blue slide down turn one in this direction and the other in the other direction and then like this you see and pull then again blue white zigzag blue slide zigzag white and blue slide arrange them like this white sticking in this direction and go through these three okay now continue these guys until you feel this will be enough to close it in a bracelet of course after you add from this uh, side as well uh, beads like this okay so i will continue and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and for my wrist nine white super dual beads in a row are enough if you're making it for someone with bigger wrist you could do more elements in this direction okay so now i want to attach my clasp here how i do this i'm going to take three silver beads like this go through the clasp as i'm exiting from this uh, super duo of course then i take three more silver beads and go here in this super duo okay now what i want to do is reinforce this part here Okay, reinforce it several times and now you might want to go here in this um, blue super duo here and uh, what you could do is go through some beads and find a place to make a knot and just to give you another idea if you want here you could do additional edge of beads let's say uh, you might want to add silver 
super glue slide it like this turn it in this direction and attach it here and then of course go like this and continue zigzagging and attaching more beads this is one idea the other idea is to take white beads and to go like this and to make an edge of white beads here around this looks cool I think but these are just ideas I'm thinking to leaving it plain without uh, these beads here added at the edge of course you add them from one side then from the other side if you decide to make this beautiful edge of beads maybe I will make a simple bracelet with this idea later now what I want to do next is just go through some beads and make a knot how I do this let's say I go here make a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go here through some beads and I might want to repeat this knot several more times and when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread okay I have my bracelet half ready and now I'm going to do the other side of it okay and how I do this I turn it in this direction and here I want to add a new thread on my needle let's say half an arm span and I want to add it here to this side how I do this I go here through some beads like this and then I want to make a knot here the same way I showed you before make a loop and go once and go second time you hold your tail thread and you make sure you are between those two beads where you started your knot from of course you could do one more knot if you want okay now I'm exiting here at this bead and what I want to do is cut this tail thread here and now I'm going to do the same thing that I showed you from this side I will show you this only twice okay I slide it I go through the empty hole of the same bit zigzagging I take a white and a blue slide them as well okay arrange them so the two blue be in one direction and the white in the other go through the other hole of this blue through the white like this and then again through this blue one here okay then blue white and blue reinforcing only blue and white sorry like this pull tight when you pull tight you have this and then go through the white then the same thing one more time blue always start with a blue then zigzag through the blue through one of its holes and then through the other one then again take two white and a blue and arrange them in the opposite directions blue towards the blue and white sticking out 
then go through the blue white and blue like this and then only through the blue and the white then again through the empty hole of the white and start it over blue zigzag through it white blue arrange them in different directions backwards okay so this is what you do until the end and when i have here nine white beads in a row i'll be back okay guys and now i have nine white beads in a row like i have here from this side and now i think it's time to attach my jump ring here how i do this i take six silver beads okay six of them and i go through my jump ring here then i go backwards through this same hole here and now i reinforce like i showed you before Okay, and here what I want to do is make a knot again. Then go through some beads and cut my thread. And now guys, my beautiful snowflake super dew bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my beautiful snowflake flower bracelet with super dual beads is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this you are invited to subscribe i will be so happy to have you as a viewer and don't forget that in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets here i have a tutorial with matching earrings and you will be able to make uh, them okay so what else i wanted to tell you is that down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see your creations mainly on my facebook page you could also check what you will get if you become a member of this channel and you could check my second channel with the fast clips thank you for liking sharing and commenting you don't know how much of a support this is and bye bye from me